Jeremy S. Cook here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a 1 farad supercapacitor LED light that plugs in for charging via USB. It uses a USB-A breakout board and then a 10 millimeter red LED. So here I'm just going to plug it in for just a few seconds. This is real time here, just so you know. Charging up via a USB charger, and then I take it out and you can see it's nice and lit up. It's only going to stay lit for a little bit, it's got to be plugged in for about 30 seconds to keep it fully charged, but even on this little charge, it, it gives a nice, nice light to it. I've got it set up here with a constant voltage power supply. So as the supercapacitor drains, it still keeps the voltage at about five volts until it goes out all the way. Now under this configuration, it lasts for about two and a half minutes, but in a previous iteration, which I'm making here, it lasts for about 45 minutes, but the light kind of fades out incrementally. You can see the soldering process there. I've got about a 12 ohm resistor coming in on the input side just to regulate stuff, make sure it doesn't charge too fast. And then I've got the ground connected to the other side that goes to the ground of the USB-A breakout. To go to the LED itself, I've got about a 200 ohm resistor going from the supercapacitor to the LED and then back to the ground. Looks pretty good there. So with that confirmed, I soldered it on, got some heat shrink on the resistor as well as the LED leg. And you can see my excellent soldering technique there. Just solder that on, clip it off, and then put some heat shrink on there to keep it from grounding on everything. Hey, I mean, you know, it's not the best technique in the world, but it worked pretty well and kept it, kept it working for quite a while. Some heat shrink on the outside, rounded it off, and then you plug it in gets bright and then you take it off and stays bright for a while. This longevity test shows that it's been going for about 10 minutes with fairly bright results. 20 minutes there, 30, and it goes almost to an hour before fading all the way out to something that's just not usable. After initially posting this on Twitter, somebody suggested that I use a constant 5 volt voltage regulator for this so it would stay at the same same light levels throughout the whole discharge of the capacitor. Now this did work, it kept it really, really bright the whole time, but the fact is after about two and a half minutes, it just went from almost full brightness to nothing. So there's a trade off there. Whether that's worth it, you of course have to determine that for your own situation. You might just wanna use a bigger, bigger super capacitor and then have this on there so you get 10 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever at some point. So, you know, either way though, I'm glad to have this constant voltage regulator in my toolbox because I'm sure it'll come in handy later. Another tool I'm really happy with is this, this uh, concrete solder squid that I'm using. You can see it gripping the, the leads here. It's even got an exhaust fan, which I'm really excited about that. I'm going to share that in upcoming videos. So if you want to see that, be sure to subscribe and even click the notification items or icon that is so you don't miss the next one. Once the soldering was done, I applied quite a bit of hot glue to keep everything in place. This worked pretty well, especially since I put some heat shrink on the outside, which kind of melted everything together and formed a nice, nice rubbery shell over the whole thing. With that all done, let's see what the timing looks like. Charge it for a while and then I put it down and then you can see the time just ticking along. Sped it up to eight times here, unlike the one before, which was much, much faster. So instead of the minute hand ticking, you'll see the second hand ticking along. So it's been active for maybe a minute now, still shining extremely brightly. Another 30 seconds, still pretty good. Around two minutes, still good. But in about 30 seconds, it's just gonna go from full brightness to nothing. That's probably not what you want if you're like in a really dark cave or something, you'd probably want it more to fade out over 45 minutes or if you need to make an emergency exit from somewhere, but there certainly are some applications where you'd want things to be as bright as it could be until they cut off all the way. Either way, both parts of this were a fun build, almost like a hello world with supercapacitors and LEDs getting that to light up. So I, I doubt I'll make another video about this, but I think I probably will make another supercapacitor light in the future just to use on my personal, for my personal use, I guess. So yeah, maybe if I need to evacuate a dark garage sometime at night. So thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it and hope to see you again soon. This is Jeremy S. Cook signing off.